Hey folks, it's another cookbook review and I think it's fair to say it should not be surprising that it is of the same calibre of the last book. It is another Warhammer 40,000 book uh, and it is another Astra Militarum novel, which I am of my own belief in assuming that that means uh, if it says Astra Militarum, it means it's about humans on the ground. Like, it's not about Astartes, it's not about Space Marines, it's not about, um, you know, the head of the Inquisition, what have you, right? So, it's about the little guys. Uh, and this book is, of course, called Witchbringer by Stephen B. Fisher. Uh, and uh, I have to say, I very much enjoyed this book. I consumed it at a pace, um, which, again, for the... Um, similar to the last one... Uh, it's about 300 pages, um, except this one just went down a tree. Um, this character here is obviously who you're following, um, but uh, for anyone versed in Warhammer 40,000, this is a psyker, um, kind of like wizard in space, it's sometimes described as. Um, but they've got these kind of mental magic powers, uh, and uh, I've never read anything about psychers before, uh, which bring a beer my first kind of close contact, uh, and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, this might be because uh, I am neck deep in a game called Dark Tide. I cannot give it up. I am all over the place for that game, which is, of course, another Warhammer 40,000 game. Uh, I play it way too much, and Psyka is one of the classes on um, Dark Tide, so... Uh, I had experience with what some of the characters could do, similar kind of things, and then I got this book and I just ate it up. Um, the kind of standout moment for me personally uh, was not even that far into the book when um, the Psyker is um, describing to you what it's like to be in the warp uh, and in um, the immaterium, it's also called. There's so many different like terms for it and everything, but it's like the source of their power. And uh, as a human dipping into it, um, it's like a very small drop in the ocean. Uh, and the ocean is huge and it contains all sorts of horrible nasties. And um, it also contains all the other humans um, at any given moment who are in there. And like, it's just the description in this of what the warp is and what it's like to a human and like all that kind of stuff. That was absolutely superb. Um, I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, so congratulations to uh, Stephen Fisher for that one. Um, broadly speaking, uh, it's pretty fast paced. Um, Witchbringer, I you know when I read the title and I saw that and I was like, oh, some kind of relation. Witchbringer is actually um, to do with the planet, uh, oddly, uh, and the way the story goes, like the final turn, um, not like. The most amazing thing ever, but I mean it. It is what it is. Um, all the way through, uh, the psyker is with um, the standard humans. Uh, another again, she's Cadian. They're Cadian. There's lots of Cadians. There's always Cadians. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, there's Cadians, uh, and they're uh, banging around on this planet. It's kind of like a, a shallow ocean world, which I thought was a really good. Um, idea for a planet like I've never heard of anything like it so like no matter where they were they were either like neck deep in the water or uh, at best there was a little scrap of dry land um, where they could just about dry out um, but more often than not they're like shin knee deep in water um, so like everything's wet there's always this fog around um, and yeah I just thought it was a really good uh, really good book um, short sweet and does a superb job of giving you information about psychers, which as someone interested in that kind of thing at the moment, I was over the moon with. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend, if you haven't already, uh, reading Witchbringer by Stephen B. Fisher. Uh, I think it's a good book. That's it. That's all I've got. See you around.